sent for me, sir? Yes, I did, doctor. Sit down. Yes, sir. There's a um, memo we have to discuss. Nothing wrong, I hope. No, but I'll find something. The president's fitness program. The admiral wants all officers on the base examined. Physically, that is. Uh, is this a recommendation or an order? Order, and the admiral will back you to the hill. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll help, but uh, there could be some trouble. Well, how could a simple thing like this mean trouble? Well, sir, nobody likes to die. They don't like it if the admiral orders it. <laughs> yes, sir, but, uh, well, I'm the fall guy. What's wrong with being the fall guy for the admiral? Give you a chance to know him. Yes, sir. Now, remember, you're a doctor first and a lieutenant second. If you have any trouble, see me. Thank you, sir. Well, I think that's it. You have your assignment. Now, we'll start this program off right. I'll take a look at you. Me, sir? Yes, you. Oh, no, 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 sir. What do you mean, oh, no, oh, no, sir? Oh, well, well, sorry, sir, but I, I, I... I yeah, what is it? I, I, I have on polka dot shorts. <laughs> that's all right, doctor. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> Inhale. Oh, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're in fine shape. Run the blood count in the usual. I want a typewritten report on all officers. Yes, sir. What's this all about? The president's fitness program. Seems we all ought to be in better shape. By the way, how's your general condition? Well, I keep having these terrible nightmares, doctor. About what? Polka dot shorts. Oh, come on. You ought to be ashamed. Who told you about that? It's all over the base. You're kidding. No, as a matter of fact, I was just talking to the editor of the base newspaper. And Take a letter, Miss Hale. Yes, sir. To senior medical officer, San Diego Naval Base. Subject, court-martial. One. Martha Hale, young, blonde, attractive naval nurse. Martha Hale, old, mean, unattractive, and soon to die. Oh, you say the nicest things. Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I'm Martha Hale. I'm Martha Hale. We'll never again mention my polka dot shorts. We'll never again mention my polka dot shorts. And that doesn't sound right. No, but it should shake up the base. All right, all right, enough. Now, post a notice in Section A that all officers are to report within 48 hours for a complete physical examination. Yes, sir. Will that be all, sir? Yes. No, no. I mean it, Martha, if you ever, I mean if you ever again mention... I, Martha Hale, do solemnly swear that I will never mention my polka dot shorts. My polka dot shorts. Polka dot shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Information, Doc. All right. The guy you want to see in the commissary department is Chief Davis. Normal? Beats me. <laughs> what do you know about Chief Davis? Well, I know he's been with the Admiral on and off for about 25 years. So? So you push him, you push the Admiral, Doc. I don't want to push anybody. All I know is I got 15 officers going on a special diet. Is that cataclysmic, as they say at UCLA? Here. <laughs> Take this up to B-5. They'll fill it for you. Chief Davis has beans and ketchup, Doc. The old, old Navy. Well, if it'll help, I'll eat his beans and ketchup. The 15 officers are going on a special diet. Those are my orders. Those are his orders. He's a rough old codger. You make Chief Davis sound like a buzzsaw. If he's an old-timer, he'll obey an order. Won't he? <laughs> sure, Doc. All right, next subject. What about your exercise group? Well, I'd like that order in writing, Doc. Why? Well, if I figure if I'm going to make a lot of gold braid sweat, I'll need written authority. You know, they're not going to like this exercise routine. Matter of fact, there's a lot of grumbling already. That's what you heard, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. 
I wonder if the president lies awake at night trying to complicate my life. I think he's got a few more important matters on his mind than you, Doc. Name one. Well, there's the... Oh, do you have a moment, sir? Yes, what, 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 what? Well, I thought the captain would like to know I have only a few officers left to examine, sir. Very well, examine them. And I report to the admiral. Yes, sir. Having any trouble? Well, no. sir... Well, uh... which ones? No, sir, actually, I'm not having I don't want much, anyone sir. to get out of line. I want each and every officer to cooperate fully. Yes, sir. Uh, how about you stepping into the dispensary, captain? Me? What's wrong with me? The order said all officers. All officers, huh? Yes, sir. All officers. That includes the Admiral? Yes, sir. And who's going to tell the old man about this? You are, sir. I'd like him in my office at 2 o'clock. You're ordering me to order the Admiral to be in your office at 2 o'clock, Lieutenant? In compliance with the President's fitness program, all officers on the base are to be examined thoroughly and corrective diet and exercise are to be recommended. There will, there will be, be no, no exceptions, exceptions to this order. Sent to you and signed by the Admiral, sir. How sharper than a serpent's tooth. All right, Lieutenant, I'll, I'll have the Admiral there. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. It's about time you discovered that the only difference between an Admiral and a President is their address. <laughs> I can give you one hour, Doctor. That'll be fine, sir. Would you mind stripping to the waist, Admiral? Send Miss Hale in here, please. Thank you. And how has the Admiral been feeling? Fine. Fine. You look a little tired, sir, as if you've been working too hard. That is my business, Doctor. Yours is to examine me. Yes, sir. Would you mind sitting on the table when you're ready, sir? Look. Well, Doctor? 217 pounds. That's a little uh, too much weight for you, sir. All right, Doctor. What's my general condition? Well, sir, it's going to take me a little time to study all this data. Suppose I meet you in your office. In Two the... hours. Be on time. Yes, sir. Good day, miss. Goodbye, Admiral. You certainly showed him who the boss was. He's a little crusty, isn't he? Oh, well, now, why do you say that? What's the matter, Doctor? You know, he's not the healthiest man in the Navy. I don't want to be around when you tell him that. Yeah. Chief Davis? Yes, sir. I'm Dr. Hennessy. I've got a little problem, and I think I'm going to need your help. Yeah. Well, come on in, sir. Sit down. Thank you. I've got 16 officers who have to go on a special diet starting Monday. Like what, sir? Like that. Low calories, no starch, nothing fried, you know. You mean I'm going to have to feed hungry men this rabbit food? You must think I'm crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Well, it ain't fit for hogs nor dogs. I wouldn't feed that stuff to nobody. Well, it's the Admiral's orders, Chief. It's what? Doc, you must be kidding. He's got more sense. I've been feeding him off and on for 30 years. He ain't never ate like that, and he ain't going to. Sir? I thought you were a friend of his. Well, I've known him all his Navy life. Never knew a better skipper. Well, what if I told you he wasn't in the best physical condition and he needs a special diet? Well, doctor, I'd say you don't know a healthy man when you see one. He never looked better. Okay, Chief, have it your way. All I know is I've got 15 officers, 16 including the Admiral, who have to go on a special diet starting Monday. Now, I want them at a separate table, and I want them on that diet. You'll get a memo to that effect today. Lieutenant. Yes. I've been running a galley all my life. You're the first officer who ever stuck his nose in. And if I'm going to stay here, you're the last, sir. <laughs> Cheese and Melba toast. I wonder what the Bull Halsey would have said.
Thank you. Let's have it, Doctor. The results aren't too bad, sir. A month or six weeks should clear up the matter. What matter is that? Well, sir, you have a mild thyroid condition, and the tired feeling you've been complaining about is due to excess weight. So I'm putting you on a strict diet for 30 days plus mild exercise. Your what? Well, sir, I said... Go on. You... Yes, sir. You'll have a thousand calories a day plus an hour in the gym three days a week. You'll also take two of these a day for the first week and then one a day for the next 30 days. What are they for? Well, for your thyroid condition, sir. And they'll also be very helpful in regaining your energy. They will, huh? Yes, sir. I see. But I don't have time for the gym. Well, this is not a recommendation, sir, but rather an order as your doctor. Oh, it is, huh? Yes, sir. Who do you think you are to be telling me what to do? Well, sir, I have your orders right here, signed by you. <laughs> Long time since I was a midshipman. I start pushing those barbells up and down, I'm level to strain my gizzard. Well, sir, we have a man to help you. Corman Brodsky, he's an expert in such matters. And I've instructed him to break you in easy, sir. Well, you just think of everything, don't you? Yes, sir. All right, I'll give it a try, but if I get busy with something important... Well, nothing's more important than your health, sir. Matter of fact, we were lucky to catch this condition when we did. Sound as if I was ready to cag in. Well, I didn't mean it exactly that way, sir, but the condition could have grown progressively worse. However, in my report... What report? To the Pentagon, sir. To the Pentagon? Yes, sir. You sent a report to the Pentagon that I needed medical attention? Well, sir, I... Promotions are due in six weeks. I'm due for advancement. Now, if they pass me up, and I'm forced to retire because of this incident, Dr. Hennessy, you'd better be ready to perform brain surgery. But, sir... On I yourself. Just, if you just let me explain, That's sir. That's all. I... Yes, sir. <laughs> Hennessy. 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 Now, Admiral, don't blame the boy. I got a feeling he's putting a ring through my nose because I'm the commander of this base. I consider that an improper assumption. <laughs> Cottage cheese, Melba toast. Sure wish you'd let me have a few minutes rest. And that's an order. All right, sir, take five. I feel great. Hi. Captain? Well, how's the Admiral doing? I haven't had this much fun since... <laughs> I think he looks better already, don't you, Doctor? Well... Don't answer that. I'm weak as a kitten. Not quite, sir. Now, if the Admiral wouldn't mind stepping over to the scale? I don't know. <laughs> there we are. Why, well, you've dropped a pound already. In 20 days, you lose 20 pounds. Hey, how about that? Well, this idiotic plan might work after all. That is, if I don't starve to death first. What's on the menu tonight? One lamb chop, asparagus, and green salad with no dressing. That's not too bad. It's great if you're a mosquito. <laughs> Look, Dr. Hennessy, I'm starved. I can appreciate that, sir, but you find in time your stomach will shrink. Along with my disposition. And when that happens, Doc, look out. What's next, Max? Five laps in the pool, sir, and then a rub down. Five laps? Yes. <laughs> All right. Say, uh, doctor. By the way, how's your weight, Captain? Uh, just, just fine. It's splendid, really, Doc. Uh, couldn't you make that two lamb chops? I'm sorry, sir. Say, lovey. <laughs> you think you can really get that weight off the Admiral? Sure, if he sticks to his diet. Well, he said he would. Yeah, but beware of the devil. Meaning what? Chief Petty Officer Davis, master of many sweets. Oh, I ain't you eating my food, sir? John, I've told you a dozen times now, this is nothing personal. I'm not eating your food because I'm not allowed to. There's nothing wrong with that, Chow. Nobody said there was. Well, why won't you eat it? The doctors have told me I'm overweight. I've got to stay on a very strict diet for 30 days. Oh, you ain't gonna listen to them quacks. Chief, they're not quacks. They're not? Skipper, let me tell you something. You didn't get where you are just by being bright. You had to be strong and healthy. Doggone it, I bet you, me, John Davis, not some white-collared lieutenant who don't know a biscuit from a Band-Aid. <laughs> sorry, sir. Well, I had to say it. Don't feel sorry, John. I appreciate your position perfectly. Everything you've said is absolutely true. Thank you, sir. I'll have hot dogs and macaroni for you tonight. <laughs> Chief. I just can't do it. I've got to stay on that diet. 
Okay, sir. After all this is over, we'll go back to the old menu. You know, lots of pies and potatoes. This is really giving me something to look forward to. You know, you know that ain't true, Skipper. Once they trim you down, you ain't ever gonna feel like eating again. Listen, John. Thirty years, Admiral. That's how long the Navy liked my chow. I meant they liked me. That ain't true no more. Wait a minute. Anything else, sir? No, that's all. I want an immediate base inspection. First thing I want to see is the dispensary. Dr. Hennessy's dispensary. That is right. Dust on the examining table. Dust. Defective equipment. Dust. Sir, what is it? Nothing, sir. <laughs> Dust on top of door. <laughs> Dr. Hennessy. Yes, sir. I would imagine the dispensary would be the acne of cleanliness. Yes, sir. Up to now, I thought this... Are you questioning my eyesight? Oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. I just don't quite... Granted, understand. my thyroid may not be functioning properly, but I can visually determine what is ship shape and what is not. Yes, sir. Oh, I want this room cleaned, scoured, and cleaned again. I'll be back at 1800. Yes, sir. Well, friend, shall I spread the word to mutiny? Boy, he's sure laying for me, isn't he? You? He stopped off at a dozen different places on his way over here and ripped them all asunder. I wonder what he's so upset about. Show me a man on a thousand calories a day and I'll show you a human Gila monster. Oh, that's it. Oh, that sure is. Maybe I should prescribe tranquilizers. For you or me? Dr. Hennessy! Or him. Did you realize what you've done? I wish I did, sir. The Admiral just finished a small inspection of my office. He emptied ice trays, looked under rugs, and even screamed about my tie. What's wrong with your tie? I didn't have it on. The end result of all this is I've been ordered to cancel my golf date and concentrate on getting my quarters in order. You hear about Chief Davis? No, sir. He submitted his resignation. He what? This obviously has a great deal to do with the Admiral's disposition. And to be honest with you, Chick, it's a sad state of affairs. Yes, sir. How much long does he have to stay on this diet? Over six weeks, sir. Uh-huh. I think I'll take my accumulated leave now. <laughs> Gee, this thing about Chief Davis is terrible. I just could have been the cause of all this. Doctor, this is not your fault. You only followed orders. Yes, but... I think I'll go over and see Chief Davis. Try to get him to change his mind. Just remember, if he offers you a cup of coffee, have him taste it first. <laughs> Troublemaker. You heard right, Lieutenant. I'm quitting the Navy. But why? You ought to know. Chief, I hardly think this Lieutenant, is the time. I don't need your comments or your advice. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of work to do before I leave, sir. Everybody on the base has told me of the strong personal relationship between you and the Admiral all these years. And yet, when the man faces a situation that could mean the end of his Navy career, you turn your back on him like he was a bitter enemy instead of a close friend. What do you mean his Navy career could end? If he fails his physical examination, he'll be passed up on the next promotion list. And you know what that means. I didn't know I it. grant you, I may be able to get him in good enough shape to pass the physical. But there's also a question of a friendship that's lasted over three decades. A well-balanced metabolism is hardly a substitute for the loss of an old and dear friend. I wish you'd think about that, Chief. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, doctor. May I sit down, sir? You may. What did you have for lunch, doctor? Well, sir... Forget it. 
Admiral, I'd like to talk to you about Chief Davis, sir. What about? Well, sir, it's just that I feel very bad about what's happened. Lieutenant, the Chief's decision was his own. It was stupid, foolish, but he made it. I only wish he hadn't. Chief and I have been together for 30 years. Ever since I was an ensign. <laughs> I never will forget the first time I met him. He baked a huge strawberry pie. It was a chocolate pie. You wanted seconds. I told you too much pie wasn't good for you. I guess I was right, Skipper. Yes, Chief, you were right. What's that? Chocolate cake. Are you sure? Yes, sir. It's chocolate all the way through. Very good. Get it out of here, stupid. Don't you know the animal's on a diet? Well, what'll I bring him for dessert? Well, ain't fattening, Doc. You might try Jell-O. Bring the Admiral some Jell-O. Jell-O? No cream. No cream. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, sir, I'll fix you a nice steak. Rare. No potatoes. Okay, Doc? Okay, Chief. Thanks. Finish that chop, Skipper. It's good for you. All right, Chief. You know, I've got a terrible confession to make to you. What's that, sir? I'm beginning to like lamb chops. You mean that, sir? No. Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't see a thing, sir. 